Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another content video update. Today, yes, today we are talking about customized labels. I'm so excited for this. I know you can't see me, but my hands are above my head. I am so excited for this. Today is the day. Uh, customized labels are something brand new to the software that people have been clamoring for that I'm excited to finally get in front of everybody and let's get into this so to start head to pdf email templates and then you'll see a new selection called label templates click into that and you'll see a list of all of the types of labels in repair shopper assets customers both product labels and ticket labels you can just like in the other templates preview them or click into customize them in this case let's pick the asset label and you'll be brought to a familiar-ish looking editor, but it is important to note this editor is different than, say, like a large ticket PDF editor. This editor doesn't use HTML, CSS tech. It's using a canvas-based tech. And the reason for that is, is that we meant for you to be able to click elements and move them around on the canvas to really customize the look and feel of the labels as you'd want. Uh, so... You can see I'm dragging things around here, which is pretty cool. There are a bunch of new things here on top of that. Let's start with images. So on the left here, we now allow you to upload images to an editor like this. And I already have a cool little dinosaur picture uploaded. So to add it, I just hit this green button and the image will be added. You'll see this image header will highlight and height and width are visible if I wanted. I can change the height and the width and hit the checkbox and change the size of the image directly on the canvas and move it around as I see fit. The next thing that's new, of course, is the fact other than you can drag elements around, if you have not wanted a barcode on your labels, well, you can delete them. Of course, adding them back by just hitting the barcode button. We've also added dividers. So if you wanted to put a fancy looking divider on your on your labels, you can totally do that. And of course, text boxes. You can add text to your labels if you want. As you can probably see, there are template tags that can be used on labels. We're using template tags already on the default label. You can, of course, feel free to use any of these tags that are listed here, and there is a search field to narrow the search down for what you're looking for but as you can see there are there are a lot of tags you can use here but they're all listed for uh, your use as you see fit in this case for the asset label there's different labels for the customer labels and different labels or different tags for tickets and products and all that stuff but the available ones are here so go for it let's talk about some of the new things with text boxes you can change the size of the font you can make the text bold, you can italicize it, you can bold italicize it. Who wouldn't want to do that, right? You can change the justification of the, the text in the text box as well. Uh, for instance, if it's near the edge, like my hello world text uh, did, it wrapped so that it doesn't run off the label. Uh, and the one thing that you all are probably wondering about that I haven't mentioned yet is yes, you can change the size of the label. You can do it in inches or millimeters, and it's height by width. So if for some reason you say wanted a six inch by three and a half inch label, well, <laughs> there you go. You can do that. That's totally your call. Uh, but yeah, uh, I know a lot of people have been pretty excited to be able to uh, change the size of the labels. Some of you have used square labels. Some of you have uh, wanted to have more rectangular or wider labels than what we've offered, and you can totally do that now. Yeah, so that's customized labels kind of in a nutshell. I wrote a brand new knowledge base article that covers everything that I mentioned here with maybe a few extra details uh, for, for questions that might come up along the way. So definitely check that out. And I hope you enjoy this. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.